Howdy, my name is Old School Nerd. Anytime there's an FEI warning, Fed Everything Intelligence. Um, look, even though these three ladies are not old enough to even know what this warning label means and the format of a VHS tape is, it's okay. They're the warning. Now, I have a lot of thoughts about the warning. Here's the thing. I haven't done a, a reaction to the warning in over a year. And the reason why is it has nothing to do with the band at all, okay? So I'm doing this. Now, if you're watching this on YouTube, everything I feared worked out okay. So this is how we're gonna do it. I'm gonna press my theme, it's gonna play. I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna do the obligatory information, and then I'm gonna press play, and I'm gonna let the whole song play, and I won't stop it so nobody yells at me, and then I'm gonna give you my thoughts after, okay? The warning, Six feet deep. All right, the warning. Six feet deep, uh, the new song just came out. They did a, a performance live. I, I believe it was, it was on Jimmy Fallon or something. Um, I didn't see it. It's all good. I don't watch TV. All right, so here's my, here's, my, here's my obligatory thing. All of the warnings information will be in the description below. Please check them out. Here's the thing. There's a reason why I haven't done a warning reaction in a long, long time. I am a huge fan of these young ladies. Just like a lot of you, I remembered them when they were very young and they were extremely talented set of sisters. Now, for a lot of family bands like Hanson and, and of course the warning and so on and on and on, they stop being young kids. So the novelty of them being kids that can play music goes away. Now, the staying power of a band is, okay, now that they're young ladies, do they now match up to the musical ability of other bands that are not, didn't start off as kids? What makes The Warning unique is that they do. They've always pushed the limits of their musicianship, their creativity, and their bond to sisters. All three of them are extremely talented in their own right, in their own instrument, and in different ways. Now, I don't know everything about their lives. That's not my job. My job is to react to the song. So we're gonna to react to this song, we're gonna enjoy it together, and then I'm gonna to explain to you why this may never make it to YouTube, which is the other reason why I haven't done a reaction to them in over a year. You ready? Here we go. Four minutes and two seconds, six feet deep. Let's check out and see what the ladies are offering today. Ah, tracking issues. Hmm. That's not ominous at all.
When you're talking on my name Cause it's over Six feet deep I'll be seeing you on See what they do here. Nice. <laughs> Keep me fed. Um. All right, it's gonna play the uh, the the credits and stuff. I want to back it up to here because I think this is a good place to stop. All right, so here's the thing. Um, there's a lot of things that I want to say about this situation. Number one, um, probably one of the best trios. One of the best three pieces currently out there, period, period in rock. There are bands that aren't putting out this kind of sound as four pieces and five pieces. Um, they have, obviously, they have their, their idols and their mentors, artists around them that they've said that they absolutely love. But then we've heard from some of those artists, like, you know, like a Lizzie Hale and things like that, that look at them and go, uh, y'all are way better than me. <laughs> and then they're so humble, they're like shocked by that. And they show such grace and poise. Here's the thing. All three of these young ladies are absolutely incredible creatively in their own right. Uh, their mu their musicianship is top notch. They they have no problem being one of the probably one of the most dynamic three pieces in the world in rock. They do remind me a little bit of Bandmade in Japan. However, Bandmade being a full four four piece music and five piece ensemble altogether, there's less components. But I think both bands do something very unique. The fact that they're all female means nothing. The fact that they love to push creative limits means everything. The best part about it is the only thing that you can expect from the warning every single time is aggressive hooks that are dynamic and ever changing all the time. The approach for any of their songs has never changed except for two things. Number one, you know that the guitar hook is going to be chunky, meaty, and aggressive on all their songs. The other thing is every single song appears to be as an almost like an anthem. For instance, if you're Taylor Swift, all of your songs reflect to your audience and they make your audience reflect to you like, hey, you could be me. I'm very personable to you. Um, our lives are very similar. It's kind of the approach. Some metal bands, it's a wall of sound. Let's see how much chaos we can cause. Some pop artists are, let's create an energy and a hype feel. The warning literally <laughs> is the best name for this band. Every tone, every sound, everything that's sung, every idea, every story that they put together is a warning to everybody. Like, are you ready for this? I'm just letting you know, are you ready? Oh, it's the warning, exactly. So. The video itself is a callback to so many amazing classic 80s horror tropes. Not only this font, uh, but some of the gimmicks remind you of movies like Nightmare on Elm Street, where all the clothes are flying up out of the hole in reverse to land on the ceiling. It's from Dream Warriors in the bed, that whole bed scene. Then you have so many poltergeist themes, and they're, the 80s were such a, um, because there was no CGI, because there was, yeah, the technology wasn't there. A lot of the effects of horror movies were very campy, so they had to use, like, real effects uh, instead of just CGI like we use now. So a lot of those callbacks were really cool, great to see. It's nostalgic. It's great. But at the end of the day, these three ladies are literally put out some of the best music in the world. Now, now that I've said that, there's two things I need to tell you. If you made it this far into the video... 
you're going to realize one thing and then you're going to ask another question. The first thing you're going to realize is, oh my God, how come there's no comment section? Sorry, not going to do it. This is about me appreciating these ladies and doing a reaction to the new music. It's not about preaching. It's not about some crazy comment section. We're just going to leave it out. Enjoy the video. Realize that I love these ladies and they put amazing music and that's it. The other thing is this, I am worried about making this video. Why? Because The Warning is not an independent band anymore. Far from it. They're signed to some of the biggest record labels in the world, including the US, which means big distrib distributors and big copyright issues. So we have to just be aware of this. If this does get onto YouTube, it's, it's because I made it through the whole copyright process. Or I didn't, and I got a copyright strike. You know, if I get three of them, I'm gone, right? Forever. So why would I risk that? Well, I don't have any strikes on my channel. So I thought, hey, if I get one, still okay. And if I'm going to get one, if I'm going to risk a copyright strike, I wanted to make sure that all the warning fans realize these ladies are worth me risking that. I know I've been away for a year. But it's because, unfortunately, your favorite band is freaking huge now. And, and their management team is doing the absolute best to protect their art, their music, and their brand. And in doing so, it can get a little scary for those of us like me, who at the beginning were just trying to share three young ladies with the world. The way it is, guys. So... For those of you who love this band, hope you like this one because I loved it. They did exactly what I expected them to do. Something completely unexpected, raw, aggressive, and absolutely elite. I do love these ladies. I loved them all the way back when I saw them as young, young ladies on a TED Talk. Playing live music at a TED Talk. No effects, no nothing, just insane. And everything that they've gotten to this point their fan base, their success, their distribution, their record deals, everything that they've done, they've earned. And I'm super happy for them. And I'm just a reactor with a channel on YouTube. So they don't need me. They don't need me to promote their stuff anymore. They're no longer up and coming. So they're kind of beyond the whole YouTube reaction thing, right? But it doesn't mean I don't enjoy them. And I thought now would be a great time to give it another shot, see what happens, just so I can make sure that all the warning fans know I didn't abandon them. They're so big now, they're kind of scary. And when I say them, not the three ladies. They're humble and loving and gracious, and they appreciate every single person that loves them back. But they are now to a point where they are under contract and agreement with companies where it is about the money and it is about the uh, different things. So it's the way the world is. So I'm taking a risk here for this band because I do appreciate them, everything they create. They inspire me. And as a father of three young ladies, they're an inspiration to my girls. So therefore, I'm always going to be a fan. My name is Old School Nerd. I gave it another shot. We'll see how it goes. We'll see you later. Thanks for watching, everybody. And if you enjoyed this video, give us a like. It really helps the channel grow. Also, if you want to subscribe, right over there. A big thank you to all my Patreons out there for everything you do. And if you want more content like this, check them out above. Remember, love one another, take care of each other. We're all stuck on this mud ball together. We'll see you later.